commissions and boards so that we are all, all on the same accord always. Councilman Perron. Second. Madam Clerk. Question, Mr. Mayor? Can you ask the Councilwoman to clarify? Councilman Moore would like to clarify. Well, I think sometimes that there, there's actually no definition or job description given to council. I think especially with new people on and even though I consider myself old, I think it helps anyone in any job to always review your roles so that you're all on the same accord. Um, and rules, I think it's something that we should look at every now and then so that we're all on the same accord. And when we look at our commissions and boards, we have a lot and we, we interview people and we put people in place of other people or we keep people on, but I never actually see the protocol for things. And unfortunately, I'm a person who needs protocol. I'm a person who needs to look at the rule. The rule says council's going to do this, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, so we can establish some things if we could get together in a workshop and do that. That's, that's the clarification. Okay, that's the question, Councilman. No, that's okay. Huh? Are there any more questions? Madam Clerk, for the call the roll. Councilman Coleman. Aye. Councilman Hart. Aye. Councilman Moore. No. Councilman McKern. Aye. Councilman Wilson Smith. Aye. Mayor Myers. No. Okay, I have one, one, one. Motion is passed. Thank you. Thank you. I have one last item, please. I want to refer back to the minutes of January 13th, 2015, which we just passed. Um, Mayor Myers, on page 8, Mayor Myers, Myers stated that City Council has reached a consensus and that they will be meeting with the appropriate parties moving forward in the next two days. This is all in relation to the, to the jail. Um, I'm not understanding if we did meet with the appropriate parties, who met with whom, because I do know that the sheriff did send an email requesting a meeting. Um, she did respond to an email requesting a meeting. She indicated who she would bring with her and her att attorney. She never got a response to that. So according to our minutes, we did not follow what we said we were going to do. And we went ahead on and made a decision. Well, not we, somebody went ahead on and said, we're gonna close the jail and it's not open for discussion. It appears to me that this is what we said we were going to do, and so this is what we should do. It's not a matter at this point of whether or not the jail should be closed or should be open. It's a matter of, again, protocol. We put something in place, and we didn't follow what we put in place, and so it makes us look rather unorganized and, and rather bad. So. I would like to make a motion that we revisit the um, the jail and keeping it open until such time as we have done what we said we were going to do and do this in a manner that is decent and in order for both parties, for the Sheriff's Department and for City Council. Uh -huh. Mr. City Attorney, would you like to speak on that before I ask for a second? <clears throat> this goes back to what I said earlier in terms of the institution of the City of Council. It goes to the fiduciary duties that this council established when last year it enacted an ethics ordinance. I stand by everything that I said previously in terms of the decision was made by council 
there is a process, or to quote you, Councilwoman Wilson Smith, a protocol to rescind, reconsider, um, whatever term you want to use, that was not followed. It just was not followed. The rules of this body, the rules of this institution, dictate how this council should function. Those rules state that there's a time limitation. That limitation was not followed. There was an edict from city council that said, close the jail. That process has begun. I understand that there are people who are unhappy about it, but my role in this is to protect this body and to protect the institution of city council. With that being said, it goes back to the rules of this body. If someone had come to me the day after and said, how do I unravel this? I'm unhappy. Ethically, I'm required to answer that question. That did not happen. The time then lapsed. If anything, if anything, I suggest to council that if there's any type of motion to be had here, it is a motion to encourage staff and the sheriff to sit down and follow the edict of council, not to continually try to unravel and think of ways to circumvent, go around the rules of this honorable body. Because once you take that path, that means every decision, every single decision is now subject to repeated review and discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Um, I will still keep my motion on the floor. Um, if we are going to follow rules of counsel, for one thing, we must follow rules of counsel. Now, we are a body of seven people. We make decisions together. The decision was made to close the jail by the, the unanimous vote. Everyone, except some of us, made that decision. I have only asked us to follow what it is we said we were going to do. If you put it in writing that this is what we're going to do, I feel fully responsible for saying to the citizens, this is what you read, this is what we agreed upon, this is what I'm going to do. That's what we said. Now, it didn't happen. And to me, that makes us not right, not credible, not a credible board. Because we're not being credible, we, we make a decision to do something one way, we turn around and do it another way. That doesn't make us credible at all. I have a motion on the floor, and that's it. Is there a second? Second, and a question. What's your question? My question, I guess, is to the city attorney. Uh, the motion is to revisit, not to rescind. Is there a difference? It's the same thing. The decision has been made. And you say revisit, you're basically not following the rules of counsel. You might as well say we want to reconsider it again. And I go right back to the rules of counsel. I mean, it, it. With all due respect to you all, you adopted these particular rules pursuant to the charter on January 7th. You made some changes to those rules. 
The one section that you did not change is the same section that I'm relying on that sets forth how things are reconsidered by council. You didn't change it. It's the same rules that were in effect that first meeting back in 2013 that some of you voted to uphold then. You have to look at this globally. And when I say globally, not here and now. Does this body, as an institution that leads to citizens of Petersburg, want to set a precedent that if you're unhappy about something, you can just keep on trying to keep changing, changing, changing it without following the rules of this honorable body? as a policy, because that, will, that is what the path that you are on. <coughs> Mr. Cole? Point of order, you have a second. Motion. Madam Clerk, you call the roll. I actually have a question, if I may. Um, we're talking about revisiting and resending, and this motion was made before I uh, set on council. My question um, with this is, when was the decision made as to what date the jail will close because I received no December 9th information. was the decision that was made. Okay, but did December 9th say that March 1st will start transferring? Yes. That was announced? Yes, that was announced on Monday. Yes, sir. So that didn't need a council's approval as to when it was to close. It just. Council set the motion in order on December the 9th to close the jail. No date was given, but council approved, put the transition and the motion in order. It was up to the administration to come with the date to start that transition. It did not have to come back to council. <clears throat> What you're voting on is applicable to the rules of council and the rules of council, which states. And if Mr. Telfair would like to reiterate what you're voting on, you're going against the rules that you adopted as a new council member, as well as all of your other council, co-council members, on January 5th, 2015. <clears throat> so you will be opposing your own rules and regulations <clears throat> by adopting what you're about to do, maybe if it is adopted, <clears throat> which will set a precedence of many other rules that you have previously adopted that can come into question.
Now, Attorney Telfair, can you explain the, the, what it does? 